Greetings to all of you at the International Team Meeting and welcome to this video for the Rwanda Rocket Stoves project. The project is led by me, Michael Newhouse, and is overseen by Hewate Teshume. Besides working towards practical action strategic goals of technology justice and sustainable energy for all, the Rwanda Rocket Stove project allows PAC to increase its footprint in Rwanda, building on its previous experience in ICS work. PAC's partner in this project is Enedom, a small stove producing firm operating out of modest premises in Kigali. Partnering with a commercial stove producer in this way allows PAC to address stakeholders' problems of indoor air pollution and the cost of excessive fuel consumption through the introduction of new stove products to the market. The focus of this particular project is the institutional cookstove market. After a few days of visiting various kitchens across Kigali, it became apparent that institutions could be usefully classified into two distinct groups. Large institutions preparing meals for 300 to 1,000 people per day, such as schools and police, and smaller ones serving fewer than 300, such as restaurants. Whilst many of the larger institutions already had improved wood-burning stoves, most of the smaller and medium institutions were spending much of their income buying charcoal. This presented a gap in the market for a medium-sized improved wood-burning stove. Such a stove already existed at Provecho's Ashton Award-winning institutional rocket stove. The stove achieves high efficiency through manipulating the path of hot gases. In the combustion chamber, wood is burned at a very high temperature. The hot gases rise up the sides of the cooking pot but cannot escape as the pot fits very tightly at the top. The gases are instead redirected back down and then lead through a chimney. Here, the stove is at an advanced stage of the build process. Aprovecho suggests that the process should take a week, but our stove was completed in just under three days. The materials required cost less than 100 US dollars, comprising of two oil barrels, several volcanic bricks, half a bag of cement, and a few nuts and bolts. An angle grinder proved far quicker than a hacksaw, and the arc welding equipment nearly sufficed except for one final stage which required the attention of a local car mechanic and his oxyacetylene tank. This extra process added just $15 to the cost of the build and could have been avoided through more careful preparation. However, it highlighted a more important aspect of the stove, that it is transportable. One restaurant manager told us during our initial survey that he was renting the premises and was not inclined to pay to improve his landlord's kitchen. A stove that would not be abandoned at the end of his tenancy would have no doubt seemed more attractive. Even with the first prototype now complete, this project still has a long way to go. The stove must be properly tested using the water boiling test and controlled cooking test, and then must be stationed in a real-life Rwandan restaurant to assess the effect on indoor air pollution and fuel consumption. However, after this point, the fun begins. Our portable prototype can be showcased throughout the region as a demonstration model to encourage adoption of cleaner institutional cooking practices and gain some nice exposure for practical action consulting in the process. Also, as the project costs incurred so far are less than £1,000, the Rwanda Rocket Stove project is also offering excellent value for the small reinvestment. And that concludes the Rwandan Rocket Stove project video. Thank you for watching.